Hey, good morning folks, what's happening? Joy here once again. I'll be doing a fragrance review from House of Theory Mucle, as you can see from the title. And uh, just before I start, I would like to share something with you. Uh, you must have seen, if you do not know by now, I actually downsizing some of my collection. I'm getting rid of a lot of fragrance that I do not reach for anymore. They're just sitting there idle. And uh, you know, I wish, I, I feel like someone else can enjoy them better. So I'm getting rid of like some of them and I'm buying some of the fragrances like I really wanted all this time. And I never really, be, where was able, you know, I never was able to pull the trigger. And some of the fragrances I'm buying these days, I'm reviewing. You can understand I'm gonna buy buying some of the serious fragrances like Boucheron Jaipur EDP. This kind of fragrances to me are very very worthy of getting and very precious. So you see anything right now I'll be reviewing, they have to be special, okay? And I wouldn't buy them if they were not. So in that way, yeah, you'll you'll see a lot of positive reviews. So keep that in mind. So as you guys know, winter is approaching in Bangladesh. Uh, many of your countries, Europe, states, you're already having cooler weather than us. You're already like experiencing maybe very cold weather. You're wearing jackets and stuff, uh, fall sort of uh, kind of season. But we're having like kind of like a chill there. It's not so hot anymore. The sun is kind of covered with clouds. And you, daytime, it's a little bit warm, but there's nice little breeze going on. This time we have a lot of weddings. And we have a lot of cricket games. We have our Bangladesh Premier League, the cricket. So we watch a lot of games and a lot of programs outside because people are not sweating. The people are really happy, less noisy, more peace. So overall, it's a very dreamy time for us. Um, October end to all the way towards like February end. So we have like nice little, you know, how to say four months here. So uh, as winter approaches, I actually own a lot of dark fragrances and this is one of them that I'm about to review. It's going to be Thierry Mugler Alien Essence Absolute. Uh, I think it's called uh, Eau de Parfum Intense. Okay, so it's a very intense fragrance and not much talked about. This is a women's perfume, I understand, but I would like to speak about it because no one else is. So that's kind of my favorite thing to do. So I'm feeling much better. Voice is good. Hopefully, it stays that way. Uh, my tea is kind of like blending nicely. So after this, maybe I'll do another review if I feel better about this fragrance. Mercedes-Benz, this is called uh, Mercedes-Benz Man. So this nice little bottle, I'll show, put the picture, the sample review basically, but if I'm feeling better, I'll do it. <coughs> See, not fully recovered. So yes, let's start it. So first of all, Thierry Mugler, my favorite, favorite house. I love, I collected a lot of Thierry Mugler mains line. Uh, last flanker I did from Amen line was pure leather. You know my love for it, waiting eagerly to wait, wear it in the winter. Pure Mall, Pure Heaven, all those great fragrances. I plan to wear them in winter time because cold weather, these are the kind of fragrances I'll look forward to wear. Then there is uh, Angel, Women's Line, they have Angel, Alien, they have Omanity, they now have, uh, I think the new one is what? The green one, uh, Thierry Mugle, forgot the name, Aura, yeah. So they have Aura, there's another flanker already, so they are master of flankers. So uh, after a long time, they released from Alien Line, they also released Alien Man. I reviewed this, check it out. Also looking toward this in the winter time. So a lot of these darker fragrances, you know, welcoming winter, it's awesome, awesome time. And uh, the one I'm about to review today, it's uh, the top of the Alien Line, women's line. I reviewed Alien a few days back. I love the jasmine based fragrance. It's kind of unisex in my opinion. If you do like a little bit like gender banner kind of fragrances, you can definitely look into Alien. It's really long lasting. Thierry Mugler, very unique as well. So in that line, this one, the Alien Absolute, let me show you the packaging. Uh, left hand, you can see the Alien, the uh, familiar Alien. This is this was, this particular flank was released in 2012, I believe. And it it's kind of confusing for me because look at the picture of that bottle. Look at the juice color, what does it look like? It looks gold, right? And look at this bottle. It looks like dark red, you know, it's like really red and maroon, kind of like uh, this fragrance right here that I own. Shergi, almost identical juice color. If this is not darker, right? So I'll talk about Shergi in a bit. But by mistake, what happened was uh, I bought the refillable bottle. There's one very beautiful kind of like a nice little bottle that has 60 ml. They have 30 and 60 ml. So I was gonna buy the 60 ml. I bought this one by mistake, but it's okay. So what I did, I transferred it into my decan bottle. It even looks prettier here. I'll show you in a bit. So basically, yeah, the picture is kind of like confusing for me. The juice color is totally different. So that's the packaging, don't want to go in detail. They have some stuff inside. There's, uh, they come in also sort of like a funnel that you, I don't know if it's here. So basically you can transfer the juice 
know if it's here or where I kept it. But anyway, it comes in a nice sort of funnel. Yeah, I have it here. They give you this one, right? To pour it in different smaller bottle, but I don't usually use it. So basically that's about the presentation. Uh, looking at the bottle, it's amazing looking juice. I, I fell for fell in love with the juice color the first day I saw it. it. It's like after a long time I bought it, but look at the juice color, look at the presentation as usual. Beautiful looking, queen looking bottle, even in the refillable bottles. Really like this stone kind of bottles. But I'll be reviewing. Let's show you a smaller bottle. Looks kind of cute. Yeah, it's the Tenemos decan sampler. I, I have a small decan page where I decan this. So basically, if you need a sample in Bangladesh, you can give me a knock. So first of all, a lot of things to say about this fragrance. This is the top of the line in Alien Line. So it's a female perfume. It's marketed towards females. But I really feel it's a very unisex fragrance. If you are into fragrances like Tom Ford Noir Extreme, if you do like uh, Shergi in a way, it has some similarity to it. And then if you do like the Vanilla Buziness in Givenchy Pie, you can definitely check this fragrance out. This is in pretty much same ballpark also in the Oud Satin Mood. I'm not saying this is the same juice, but look at the juice color in this. It's also dark. So these are basically all dark, cold weather scent, right? It's sweet, vanilla based and some other notes in it. So basically this is, I, in my opinion, pretty much metrosexual unisex kind of fragrance. Anybody can wear it. And this fragrance is good for cold weather. Remember, this is cold weather fragrance. I tried this two years back. I knew I got the powderiness. I was never gonna be able to wear it in summer. I didn't buy it. I waited for winter to come. And that's when I got it because I'm planning to wear a lot of this fragrance, a lot, lot, lot. And this fragrance actually used to talk about, was like people used to talk about reviews, used to talk about it when it was out. Nowadays, people are all about brand new fragrances, hypes, which I also do sometimes, but some good fragrances not getting talk, it's kind of painful. I think this is one of the fragrances heavy heater for your colder weather. So now coming to the smell of it, I'm wearing it here in my hand. Longevity on this fragrance is absolutely crazy. Alien lasts on you like seven, eight hours easy. This fragrance will last on you like 14, 15 hours. Even next day you can wake up if you do not take a shower in cold weather, you can detect on your skin. Very, very long lasting. Projection is gorgeous. Longevity and projection, no issue. So I'm saving the best for the last. How does it smell? This fragrance, when you spray for the first time, you know, this, the original Alien is based on the note of Jasmine, right? This one has jasmine, but this is not the main player in this fragrance. So that is the best part. First time I tried it, what I get was a kind of like a cocoa buttery lotion like uh, thick uh, fragrance on my skin. It was very oily when you spray it first time. You don't need to go a lot. You just need two to three sprays of this, but uh, maximum two sprays would be great. So this fragrance, it opens a very nice sort of powdery kind of like a jasmine, but the jasmine goes away very, very quickly. Then you get to know what it's all about. It's all about the beautiful vanilla. It's a beautiful, gorgeous vanilla, a lot of amber, and it's kind of like a boozy feel from it. The vanilla is kind of boozy, just like Givenchy the Pie. Givenchy the Pie, if you like it, it has uh, kind of like a synthetic opening. It has a synthetic vibe, right? On the dry down, it's really gorgeous. You get that booziness from it, and a lot of people, even women, like it. So it's like a sugary, burnt sugar note, which you do not find in this. This is very polished, very smooth. No alcohol blast, nothing. If you shake it, you don't see so much bubble coming up because the fragrance oil concentration is in. massive, massive, right? So if you look at the juice color, you can kind of get the idea what this will smell like. Actually, it does. You know, it smells exactly how the juice looks, right? It's kind of scary like like M7 by YSL, right? Back in the time, if you think those are rich, this is rich. I absolutely enjoy it. It's so comforting. It's just women love wearing this. I know this. But in the cold weather, this fragrance is going to hug your skin for a, forever, forever. It's an evening wear, nighttime wear, very sensual, very comforting. It's uh, not, I heard one uh, female reviewer said this is not like a sexy fragrance, but this is very much like an attractive kind of fragrance. It's not worn by, I would think, not worn by some, uh, maybe a seductress or someone, but I think someone would wear this with a very classy lady. It has some maturity to it, like 30 and up. Yes, it kind of sounds scary, but if you're into this kind of fragrance that I showed you, Shergi, Noir Extreme, if you have developed the taste for it, this one kind of tilting on the gourmand side as well because of the vanilla. So it's very comforting, very beautiful. It, it always remains strong as long as it lasts, all right? It's never going to get weak. So performance, it's no issue. Uh, I would wear this for a nice sort of date occasion with, let's say, my wife. If I have a wife, I would wear it with her. If my wife is wearing it, let's say my girlfriend is wearing it, I would definitely follow her everywhere she goes. And this is a 
not kind of fragrance that you wear to go and clubbing and do flirting and stuff. I think there's a lot more tutti fruity sweeter fragrances for that. This is very serious, classy. Uh, if you talk about class, what does it remind me of? Class of Shalimar, class of N5, you know, like Chanel number no. 5, class of Dior, hypnotic poison, poison line. This is right up there. I'm not saying this smells like anything like those, but this is quality wise right up there. So I would highly recommend you check this out. It will, it's really a stunning juice. It's, it's something that you do not wear to get compliments, whatever. This is something you wear for yourself. You wear this, you feel beautiful. You feel beautiful inside out. And if you love Alien, it's a must try. It's a must, must try. But if you're not a fan of powdery fragrance, it reminds a little bit of if you do also like this kind of DNA. Durum Intense, that lipstick sort of vibe. I get it from this, even though there's no iris in this, but the buttery, buttery sort of feel. It's kind of like that uh, jasmine, smooth jasmine mixes with that vanilla, kind of like boozy, and then the amber is very sexy. And they also have this incense. I do not get so much smokiness from it, but perhaps touch of smokiness kind of gives you feel like you know that that, that lipsticky vibe if you give it a little bit of incense it feel gives you sort of like a nice posh leather kind you know you're just touching on your face you're getting a smell from very up close it gives you that feel but there's no leather in this so it's that kind of fragrance so for the cold weather sitting by the fireplace drinking something nice expensive and having uh, your sweetheart sitting next to you even if you are a, I mean a man very mature man, I would highly recommend you try this. Go to a mall, Thierry Mugler counter if they have this, it's super rare now, but give it a try if you can find it. Thierry Mugler, Alien, I mean, uh, this is a long name, Essence Absolute, EDP, Intense, this perfume here. And make sure uh, you buy not this one, because I don't recommend you buy the refillable one. I mean, it doesn't say, yeah, it says refill bottles, so you always read here. Do not buy this because it's very inconvenient to use, like dab and stuff, if you do not have a decan bottle. Get those cute little bottles, I'll put the picture in front get those bottles amazing gemstone kind of bottles like beautiful bottles this is another perfection 10 that's what i'm buying nowadays every single fragrance is close to 10 right check out this fragrance this is pure love for me take care guys thanks for watching all this time and uh, thanks for always being with me let me see if i can do the first the next one mercedes benz this is a very ordinary fragrance but uh everyday casual fragrance let's see what you get from this okay take care guys i'll talk to you soon bye, -bye.